Hello everyone. Today we will discuss problem 44 of the 50 challenging problems. The problem is the winning in an unfair game. Here is a description of the problem. This question is a game in which there will be a sequence of plays. And every play will win or win your opponent. Your opponent will win the probability of probability P which is slightly less than half. And his probability of probability is 1 minus P. And the number of plays in this game are to be even. That is 2, 4, 6 and so on. And to win in this game, you must get more than half points. So let's say if you have the probability of winning of 0.45, then what is the number of plays that you will choose so that you win the prize? Now let's see the solution to the problem. So this question may we are given a sequence of plays and in each play either you win or your opponent wins. So your winning probability is given as P and your opponent winning probability is given as 1 minus P. And there are even number of plays that is n equals to 2, 4, 6 and so on. And to win an entire game, you should win more than half number of plays. Right? So, with a given value of p equal to 0.45, you need to choose the value of n. That is number of plays you need to choose. So, first let's consider that it is a fair game. That is p is equal to half then what will your n be so suppose capital n equals to 2 then to win an entire game you should win half number of plays that is more than one number of plays that is you should win all the games over here so the probability of winning here would be half into half that is 1 by 4 right now for n equal to 4 half plays would be 2 more than half you should win that is either 3 plays or 4 plays. For 3 plays it would be 4 C3. You need to choose the 3 plays out of 4 you, that you are winning. Then you should win in these 3 plays and the 4th one you should lose. Or you should win all the 4 plays that would be 1 by 2 key power 4. And we should add these. So we will get 5 by 60. So now we here we can see that as number of plays increases the probability of A winning also increases. Okay. So for P slightly less than half. This is slightly less than half. From continuity we can conclude that A can choose large but finite number of plays such that his probability of winning is maximum. Right. So suppose let us consider capital N equal to 2N which is the optimum value number of trials. So what would be the probability in, of winning in these 2N trials? So for winning in 2N trials you should win N plus 1 times or N plus 2 times or N plus 3 times or till 2N times then only you will win the game. So probability of winning in 2N games would be sigma x equal to n plus 1 say 2n then you will choose 2n cx probability p key power x q key power 2n minus x so this would be the probability of winning in 2n trials now suppose if we have 2n plus 2 trials then what will be your probability then in this you need to win more than half that is more than n plus 1 times that is Either you win n plus 2 times, n plus 3 times or till 2n plus 2 times. So here the probability would be sigma x equals to n plus 2, say 2n plus 2, then 2n plus 2 cx, p key power x, q key power, 2n plus 2 minus x, right? Now one thing we need to notice that the difference between 2n plus 2 trials and 2n trials is what? So if you have won n plus 2 times or n plus 3 times or 2n times in 2n trials, then it is a sure shot that you would win in 2n plus 2 trials as well. So the only difference comes when you have won n times 
और n प्लस वन टाइम्स इन टू एन ट्राइल्स राइट सो सपोज इफ यू हैव वन एन टाइम्स इन टू एन ट्रायल्स एंड द नेक्स्ट टू प्लेस यू ऑल्सो विन देन यू इंक्रीज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ विनिंग इन टू एन प्लस टू ट्रायल्स बाय सो यू आर विनिंग टू एन सी एन एन टाइम्स इन टू एन प्लेस दैट इज टू एन सी एन पी की पावर एन क्यू की पावर एन एंड द नेक्स्ट टू प्लेस ऑल्सो यू आर विनिंग सो दैट इज पी स्क्वेर so you increase the probability of winning in 2n plus 2 trials by this much next case this is the first case next case suppose you win n plus 1 times in 2n trials and the next two plays you lose then you decrease the probability of winning in 2n plus 2 trials by you are winning n plus 1 times so p ki power n plus 1 and q ki power n minus 1 and you are losing in the next two place so it is q square so you decrease the probability by this much so now let's consider capital n equal to 2n this is the optimal value that we need okay so p n should be greater than equal to pn minus 2 and pn should be greater than equal to pn plus 2 right so now let's solve for this pn greater than equal to pn minus 2 here we assume that we have 2n minus 2 place and you win n minus 1 times and in the next two place you also win so the probability of pn would be so pn can be written as 2n minus 2 cn minus 1 p ki power n minus 1 q ki power n minus 1 and in the next two play also you win that is p square this is greater than equal to now for pn minus 2 you in 2n minus 2 place you have won n times and in the next two place you lose so this would be 2n minus 2 cn p ki power n q ki power n minus 2 into q square so this is our first equation next equation is pn is greater than equal to pn plus 2 here we will assume that in 2n place you have won n plus 1 times and in the next two place you lose for calculating pn right so it would be 2n c n plus 1 p ki power n plus 1 q ki power n minus 1 into q square and for pn plus 2 in 2n place you have won n times and in the next two place you win so this is greater than equal to 2n c n p ki power n q ki power n into p square this is our second equation now upon solving the first equation we get n minus 1 q is less than equal to np and upon solving this equation we get that n q is greater than equal to n plus 1 p so this is equation number 3 and equation number 4 so when we substitute in equation 3 and equation 4 value of q which is equal to 1 minus p we get a relation that is 2n is less than equal to 1 upon 1 minus 2p plus 1 and it is greater than equal to 1 upon 1 minus 2p minus 1 so 2n is over here r capital n so if 
वन अपॉन वन माइनस टू पी इज नॉट एन ऑड इंटीजर सो अवर कैपिटल एन इज द क्लोजेस्ट इवन इंटीजर टू वन अपॉन वन माइनस टू पी एंड इफ इट इज एन ऑड इंटीजर सेंड बोथ द इवन इंटीजर्स देन वी हैव टू इवन इंटीजर्स दैट वुड बी closest to 1 upon 1 minus 2p then both these even integers give the optimal value so in our question we have p is equal to 0.45 so n approximately equal to 1 upon 1 minus 2p which is equal to 1 upon 1 minus 0.9 which is equal to 10 and this is our answer